Today we're going to be playing with some Boigers. What's happening guys? My name is Jamie, this is the Norwich Reptile Shed. Now I'm halfway through doing the big six foot builds that you can see behind me, plus a cheeky four foot build as well, but I've got a couple of hours free today. <sighs> Life is just a bit hectic at the moment, um, so not really enough time to commit to doing any of the big stuff, uh, but what I can do this weekend, um, and something that I've been planning for a while, is just doing a few improvements on the... Boiga vivariums. Um, now, if you don't know what I'm talking about here, I'm talking about um, a species of colubrid um, known as Boiga. I've got Boiga cyanea, the green cat snake, and Boiga cyanodon, which is the dog tooth cat snake. Um, they do, you do sort of see them um, on the channel every now and again, um, but yeah, we're going to uh, get all three of them out today, have a little look. I'm not sure I've ever actually done the cyanodon, so that'd be interesting. But yeah, um, I'll show you what I've got um, and what we're going to uh, be doing to the vivariums to kind of improve them. Uh, one is adding UVB lighting and then also I want to add a little bit more ventilation. Um, and I'll talk about that when we actually go and look at the vivariums. But I've had an idea to do a bit of cross ventilation um, across the bottoms of the vivariums. And that should help with a little bit more uh, ventilation. And it's something I can do in these custom enclosures. Um, quite easily so uh, let's have a little look at what we've got so here are my uh, UVB kits I'm going to be fitting three of these um, they're not obviously massive UVB lights um, they're 8 watts a piece which shouldn't hurt too much on the electricity bill uh, the good thing about these is they or the good thing about all of this sort of stuff is uh, they all link together so we've got the links uh, which means I can run three of these lamps off of one plug which is really handy after we fit that we're going to be doing some ventilation um, and I had a plan and that is to because I've got a gap here between Mr Pine um, I've got quite a nice gap there um, I can run if I drill some nice big holes in here and here use these vents which accidentally almost match <laughs> um, I can have these vents and I've had to obviously buy a ton of them um so i can have the vents uh running from here through this one through this one and we should get a little bit of cross ventilation between all of them um and if need be it means i can in the future fit a pc fan to maybe blow cooler air in so i think what should we do first uh for, so <laughs> okay right i've got to get the snakes out so let's do that so let's let's meet some boigers i'm going to get the sign ears out first so with my female i've got to use a hook uh my male is normally okay uh, but also because of how kind of intricate all the branches and stuff are in here it helps to have a bit of a, a reach anyway to grab them so uh let's get the female out and we'll put her in the bigger box Hey you. And they pretty. They are the prettiest snakes in the shed, without foul. There's my mouth. What I'm using is a falsener bit, um, and this bit is big enough 
to allow the mal end of this extension lead through. Uh, so it means I can just poke it through and I haven't got to cut and join wires. So uh, let's drill some holes. Okay, that was a lot harder than it needed to be. I uh, made that really difficult for myself, but the mains cable, the actual one that's got the plug on the end, that is down, so uh, I'm going to fit the first UV lamp and then uh, maybe reconsider how I'm going to thread the next two because that was a giant pain in the ass. There's one, all lit up, that's good. Right, okay, let's figure out how to drill a hole into the next vivarium. <laughs> insanely hard I don't know why well I do know why I'm sweating it's hot in here the vibs are on um, and it's just really awkward to work you'd think like enclosures that you can stand in that'd be really easy to work in and uh, the novelty of doing that wore off really soon um, yeah anyway let's have a look at my uh, handiwork so We've obviously we've got the first one installed. We've got um, cable tie there, strain relief. We've got another um, clip there that holds that in. So hopefully the snake can't get on the wire. Pull it out. You can't really see. Let's try and do that. So in there, the same again. Loads of strain relief. Um, that's got the excess. There's about 20 centimeters, maybe a little bit less excess cable between the two. So that's just been um, looped round and cable tied up. So that's all nice. And that is attached to the ceiling with cable ties. We then got, we come through the wall, strain relief, strain relief, and then into that uh, second one, uh, which now means I can put Mrs. back in there um, and get Cynodon out. So, uh, whew, I'm gonna have a couple of minutes break and then let's do that. Okay, so I've just realised before I move the snake back in, I might as well drill these vent holes as well. Uh, and then I haven't got to take the snake out or do it around the snake. So uh, I'm going to set my drill up with a hole saw and I'm going to sink some drill, um, sink some holes through here. Uh, I think I've shown you the vents already. Where are the vents gone? I've lost the vents. <laughs> so yeah, we can, uh, we can drill a hole, uh, maybe two holes that will um, kind of um fill this gap uh, and then put this over the top and then i can move the cat snake back in
now it's time for the final snake, and that is the Boiga Cyanodon. Boiga Cyanodon, dog tooth cat snake. Um, gonna whip her out, put her in the box. I've still got the Boiga Cyanea, uh, the male, um, in his box. Um, I've already done the vent. So all I've got left is to fit one more UVB, uh, one more hole through the viv, um, and uh, yeah, hopefully this one goes a little bit easier, there's less stuff, I don't know. But uh, let's get the snake out. I might need to hook. Let's get the snake out and have a look. So this is actually one of, I'd say, one of the prettiest snakes I own. Uh, and uh, yeah, unfortunately, very, very rarely see her. Um, loves to hide away, but is absolutely puppy dog tame. Um, yeah, really, really cool. <laughs> awesome. Let's get you in a tub, little lady. we go guys now that was quite a job actually i on paper i thought that sounded like quite an easy one but uh that has taken quite a while and quite a lot of sweat but uh we've got the uv fixed in place we've got all the cables bundled up cable tied nicely attached to the wall clipped to the wall so everything's got strain relief so hopefully they can't pull the wires out um if they do it won't do too much damage uh and the good thing about this system, I was thinking this when I was actually fitting it, is that if I ever want to upgrade to a 24 watt fixture, I can. Uh, I've done all the hard work. I've done the wiring. Um, so, yeah, who knows? Maybe in the future, we'll see. But, I mean, these snakes absolutely coil up into a tiny ball. Um, I mean, one of them spends most... The Cynodon, she lives in there. And as you saw from the like the, you know the previous clips... It's sort of like six foot of snake. Um, so, uh, yeah, I'm, I'm quite happy that this is enough to kind of lit, light this whole area for them. Um, and this creates a nice a balance. Obviously, the, the light isn't in the middle. Um, it's more directly aimed at the hides that they use. Um, and I've still got more work to do in these vivs. I finally found some plants that grow in here nicely. I'm keeping the dead bamboo in there for the meantime because that actually looks quite cool. Um... Yeah, that just so I just haven't got around to planting it up with with anything other than the devil's ivy. So, uh, but yeah, so everything's actually over the over the hide, so the the, the positions of them are different. Um, but yeah, and as you can see, uh, where is she? Oh, she's down there. I was going to say she might be doing some cryptic basking, but uh, but yeah, that does allow for that opportunity. Um, yeah, really cool. Everything's on. Everything's uh, hooked up to uh, the day, the day setting on the stat. So um, I'll program that for 11 hours or so during the day. Uh, all we've got to do now is put some uh, snakes back. So I'll set my camera down and we'll grab some snakes. So thank you very much for checking out this video guys um, just another little quick job not quick but another job to do in the shed uh, just keep chipping these away and um, we're just gonna have an awesome place to um, to keep reptiles and uh, all that stuff so 
if you haven't subscribed yet please make sure you subscribe um, and hit that notification bell uh, like if you enjoyed this drop me a comment love to hear from you um, yeah if you want to support the channel even further um, check us out on patreon where for three pounds a month I can put your name at the start of each video and all that money goes towards helping create uh, better videos uh, paying for equipment and stuff like that not actually you know buying reptiles or anything um so thank you very much guys and i'll catch you in the next video